The uh, interventions that we have uh, seen at this pledging conference and the amount of funds that have been committed reflect the international community's commitment to Venezuelan migrants and refugees and the communities that host them in Latin America. We have managed to gather 2.544 billion euros, and nearly 600 million of that is in the form of grants. And the Commission will uh, be providing about 60 percent of that. Uh, we will be uh, offering 144.2 million for humanitarian assistance. And I think it shows that the European Union is uh, still concerned about the situation in Venezuela and is fulfilling its commitment to organize this conference together with the Spanish government. I think we've shown that this uh, isn't uh, a forgotten crisis, that we're aware of the impact on the countries of Latin America, that we are mobilizing to support them, and that uh, we want to strengthen the international coalition uh, made up of different organizations and countries. And I'd like to thank everybody for all their efforts and the outcome of this conference. Thank you very much. Minister, you have the floor. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you to the European Commission for having embarked on this path with the government of Spain. Today's outcome are very satisfactory. We're very satisfied because the international community has listened to us. We are satisfied because everyone has focused on a drama that was becoming invisible. Uh, hundreds of thousands of men, and women, youngsters, and especially Children were satisfied because despite the terrible circumstances we're living through in all countries of the world, we have given an example of solidarity with those who were marching in the tunnel of forgetfulness. We have uh, uh, 2,544 million in contributions from uh, participants, nearly 600 million in donations. Spain has contributed 50 million which will be dispersed over the next three years with an initial disbursement of 20 million this year. This success, which is undoubtedly a success that will have to be sustained and continuous in time, shows that we can reach political agreements. And I think this is a matter of urgency. We need a genuine uh, process of integration to re-establish democracy, freedom and the rule of law in Venezuela with uh, uh, new parliamentary and uh, uh, presidential elections that are free and fair. Spain has shown its commitment to uh, uh, holding this meeting today. Uh, our commitment to citizens, uh, refugees and migrants who are suffering, and also uh, our solidarity with those who are suffering within Venezuela itself. But our undertaking does not end here today. We here in Spain are absolutely clear that uh, there are more than five million reasons uh, for us to continue, five million uh, personal histories that we'll not forget.